Uh, kia ora, Mr Chair. Nama hinui kia koutou kia ora. It's fantastic that in the last hours of this Parliament we're seeing marine reserve and marine protection laws passing through our Parliament. So I'd like to do a round of thanks. Thanks to the Minister, thanks to the officials, thanks to the Chair, Maggie Barry, who is actually a very surprisingly uh, good Chair. Uh, Mr Chair, I'd like to thank all the members, all the submitters, and most of all, I'd like to thank Te Korowai, uh, the, the collaborative group who worked in Kaikoura uh, to develop this policy which we see before us, be, soon to become an act of Parliament, the Kaikoura Titai or Marukura Marine Management Bill. Mr Chair, it's fantastic that we're protecting our waters. It's something we need to do more of. We've only got 0.41% of all of our waters, less than half of 1% protected in marine reserves. We've got the Maui's dolphin on the cusp of extinction, Brutus whales going that way in the Hauraki Gulf, the New Zealand sea lion critically endangered. We're seeing our oceans in crisis with climate change, acidification, pollution, waste, overfishing, all threatening the health and viability of our ocean. This is the uh, Pacific Forum meets right now to discuss the Moana, this blue highway which connects us Pacific states. It's important that they've put the oceans on the agenda and it's great to see this parliament doing something about it. I want to say very loudly and very clearly the Green Party supports this. Uh, we support this bill. We've voted for it at every stage. We've worked constructively in the select committee uh, within the constraints to try and improve it. There have been some improvements such as uh, the 25-year review now has been reduced to 10 uh, once we see that SOP pass. But, Mr Speaker, in saying that we support it and will be voting for it, I do want to get three concerns on the hand side of our Parliament. The first is the Marine Protected Areas Policy and Marine Protected Areas Classification Protection Standards and Implementation Guidelines were not applied. Mr Speaker, this is something officials and ministers have put a great deal of work in over the years. It's disappointing this uh, guidelines. Uh, have not been applied in this case. Secondly, we see the Hikarangi Marine Trench, Marine Reserve. Fantastic to be doing a marine reserve covering an oceanic trench, uh, biodiversity hotspot. Uh, part of the thriving Kaikoura economy is built on the whale watching industry, uh, which is associated with the trench. It's great to be doing it. But, Mr. Speaker, what we see with this marine reserve is only a tiny amount touching the coast, 1.97 kilometres. We see this, uh, it must be the oddest marine reserve we've got in the country, a 12 sided, a regular shape. I don't think there is a name for the type of shape. Uh, that describes this marine reserve, which only touches the bottom, the benthos of the Hikarangi Trench, not the sides, which are the real ecological hotspot areas. So, given we've heard advice from marine reserves and marine science experts that the boundary effects are magnified, the uh, enforcement obligations are made more difficult, and the uh, difficulties of communicating such a complex 12-sided shape uh, isn't ideal. Obviously, it wouldn't meet those guidelines. What we would have preferred is a more regular, consistent shape where those boundary effects are reduced. Uh, it's easier to communicate, easier to enforce, easier to protect. So we have some concerns over the process. We have some concerns over the trench reserve in particular. And thirdly, when it comes to whale sanctuary, the Green Party would have preferred to have seen the other marine mammal species protected. It's great to see a whale sanctuary, but we need to protect all of our marine mammals. So we would have preserved, uh, preferred to have seen uh, a similar marine mammal reserve as under the Marine Mammal Protection Act 1978, which could have protected the whales, uh, could have protected the, the seals, could have protected the Hector's dolphin. Which brings me to my final point. Kiwis have a, a very clear choice on the oceans this election. We see uh, this pass, which is fantastic. But what we haven't seen action on, real action to save the Maui's dolphin from National, what we see is them opening up a third of their Maui sanctuary to seabed mining. What we see is their uh, wanting to see seismic testing, which can deafen the dolphins and drive them into lethal trawling nets. And in fact, we still see those lethal legal set net and trawl nets in the Maui sanctuary. We see uh, our New Zealand sea lions on the path to extinction and action not taken to save them. We see a government that's literally subsidising with taxpayers' money tens of millions of dollars to seabed miners, despite the Department of Conservation themselves saying uh, it's troubling and it's uh, likely to degrade the environment, for example, the Maui's dolphin risking their survival. So if people watching uh, the parliamentary broadcast, if people out in New Zealand want to see a party that's going to stand up to protect what we love, which is the oceans, the ability to, to, to catch a wave, catch a cray, go for a fish, the ability to protect the oceans, which is the 
the lifeblood of our economy, of which our prosperity is built on, the Green Party is the clear choice, because the Green Party will act to protect our oceans. Moana Maggie. Uh, thank you, Mr Chair, and I, I rise to take uh, a short call on in the committee stage of, of the uh, Kaikoura Marine Management.